Hi, I would like to talk to you about something that's on my mind. Um, today I would like to talk to you about um, what, what, what would happen if, um, if pot, weed, marijuana um, were um, federally legal in the United States. Because right now, um, hemp is federally legal in the United States. I mean, Yeah, in uh, all 50 states in the United States, barring um, state laws that, that may prohibit it. But, um, right, and right now there are um, several states in the United States that um, allow for um, recreational marijuana, and there's um, about, about a dozen more states that allow for. Um, medical marijuana it's, um, but if um but if marijuana were um, federally legal in the uh, United States it could um, help out help um, you could, um regulate it um, make, make sure um, pot is safe for everybody Dur during um, t the time that um, pot was um, illegal in all all fifty states, um, people were um, growing uh, strains of marijuana that are, that um, have more THC than they used to have back. Back in the sixties and seventies, um, where where it's like um, it's like five percent, you know, now it's up up to like twenty percent, and um, and all that THC is um, causing people to have um, weed psychosis. You know, it's not, not very not very fun if we. Could um, bring bring THC levels back down to like um, to like five percent, um, where um, people who do, who don't like the strong pot um, you can uh, make make weed safer again for people. I mean, you can. I mean, we didn't we wouldn't have to uh, have, have um, a strong pot be the only option for people. And um, another thing we, one of the things we legalized pot can do is um, that um, scientists can study effects of pot and without um, any um, federal regulations um, binding them to do so um, because, because um, right right now it's really hard for um, scientists in the United States to study the effects of pot I mean, just um, not very not very easy to um, Get a hold hold of pot and um, we we really need that research to um, to um, make make sound decisions over um, where people should use pot or not. <clears throat> what are for um, recreational or medical purposes? And um, our our thing. Um, Legalized pot to do is um, um, bring down um, drug related crimes um, in the United States, I mean, at least in the area of um, pot. I mean, of course, um, 
we we still don't know if uh, people would be legally allowed to grow grow their own pot, but. Um, But, um, I mean, what, what would, um, make, make it, um, in, I mean, would have one less, um, dr drug on the, um, list of controlled substances, um, to, wor to worry about, um, on the, um, legal level. Just um, have to watch out for the uh, stronger drugs like um, like cocaine and heroin and, um, and make it on. We can switch from. Um, Drug control uh, on, on pot to um, to harm harm reduction and, um, focus on help, helping people get off pot. I mean, they uh, find themselves hooked on pot because there there is such thing as being being addicted to pot. Of course, one thing I w would like to see when it comes to legalized pot is um, that the price of pot get lower as um, more more states are allowed to um, uh, allowed to sell pot through um, through legal means and um, you can you can be re regulated like um, like tobacco and alcohol. Those drugs are still are still legal, and um, I mean, there um, those drugs are also regulated. I mean, you just uh, just want you just want to see what what's best for um, people and. Um, That um, people are able to make uh, decisions about about um, whether or not they want want to use um, something like marijuana. Because, um, it's it's still a powerful drug. I mean. Most of them have been staying away from marijuana and just focusing on hemp. Anyway, that's pretty much all I really have to share in this video. So, have a good day and God bless you.